thousands of people in Alabama have been issued a water advisory. Yeah, the warning affects parts of East Alabama because of chemicals that are being found in the water system. CBS 42 News reporter Alex Finney with us tonight live in Gadsden. And Alex, is the water safe to consume? It's a pretty simple question. Well, Jim, I can tell you this, pregnant women, you no longer have to just drink bottled water. You can drink tap water if you want to. That's all from the Gadsden Waterworks. They had their meeting tonight. Now, we can say that the Alabama Department of Environmental Management just announced that they're going to be testing systems in Rainbow City and Gadsden. So what does that mean? Five out of the eight systems that are on that list are no longer affected by the EPA's recommendation. Now, it's important to mention that the compounds found in the water, so we've been talking about the PFOS and the PFOA compounds are always in that water. That's something that people need to know. But what they're just making sure of is that those levels aren't too high. Now, the general manager here at Gatson Waterworks says this is still very much a developing situation. They found out about this just on Thursday and reacted very quickly. And right now, they're not issuing that public health advisory here because, according to Gatson Waterworks, all of the water testing has fallen below the EPA's health advisory level that they did last month. Now, what ADEM wants us to do, um, because of some past data from back in 2014 and the first part of 2015, is to conduct further sampling. And we're going to do that once a week for the next four weeks. That'll be done by ADEM and our staff. Now, I did try to contact EPA to find out exactly why they've lowered that level from 200 per trillion to 70 per trillion. I have not heard back yet. And also, Gadsden Waterworks tells me tonight that they don't even know why that level has been lowered. As soon as we do know something, we'll be letting you know right here on air and online. For now, live in Gadsden, Alex Finney, CBS 42 News.